Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting number 119. Getting back to the run of things, uh, second week or third week of January, depending on how you count um, and what you've been doing um, in your holiday. I think we were just talking. My wife was like, oh, this is going to be my first. I haven't had a full week of work yet this week. I was like, wow, that's pretty awesome. Holidays are great. Anyway, we're going to move on into the agenda. We're going to talk about triage because we always like to do triage here. Uh, we'll talk about CodePlex again like we did two weeks ago, um, even though that recording didn't make it due to technical difficulties. Hopefully we have none of those these times. And speaking of recordings, this is recorded for those people that aren't here with us right here right now. And then for the small group of us, we'll do questions and comments. Unfortunately, Sean is off doing training, so he's not with us, but Bob's here. Right, Bob? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Such an existential question. Uh, let's go to triage. Um, not much. Still ramping up in the new year. Starting at the bottom, which is the oldest one. In Wix 4, there's a bug, which is probably true. So why don't you give this to me, and I will have to fix it, because it's probably just a bug. All right. Um, and I've lost my mouse cursor, of course. Support for IS handler mappings. Fix bug bug for Kapat. There were many words here I didn't understand, and I'm assuming it's just because I'm not an IIS person. Fully special configuration without hard coded problematic defaults. This is a feature request that isn't following our template. Okay. Um, is the installation of non ISAPI IS modules. Okay. With that, including that including the ability to specify the name MSI custom U is not acceptable from my point of view. Sys names must be unique. All right, fine. It's also unclear from the current, if using IS extension requires IS6 or on IS7, IS6 is done. Oh yeah, so you don't have to use the IS6 ability anymore. Um, using app command, yeah, okay, great. So if someone wants to write a feature, let's put it in four. If they want to do the feature, let's do a whip. And see what it all means. What, what's the feature? I'm, I'm the ability to familiar. add ISAPI um, modules. I think the non, I, sorry, IS modules, the not the ISAPI ones. There's modules you can extend the IS pipeline ah. with stuff. To do so, you must tell IS about it. To do so, you give it a whole bunch of different pieces of information, like what do you process, what kind of DLL are you, yada yada. yada. I mean, there's, there's a bunch of goo you have to configure. Yeah during installation makes total sense. And this person is saying that right now they're hacking app command to kind of force it and not getting rollback or any of that kind of good stuff. So they'd like to have it do that. Be like, yeah, great. So if they want to write a whip, we totally look at having that feature, making the IS custom actions that much better. Um, and no, IS7 stuff does not require IS6 compatibility. Did at one point, but that was quite a while ago. Yeah. Um, the you license that. Yeah, even you knew that. Yeah. Well, maybe we have some piece of documentation floating out there that it's not up to date. Um, license text is not in the binaries. Does it? Seems like it should be. Yeah, I agree. All right. Someone want to take this? I'll take it. All right. Splash screen should use new logo. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Three eleven. Oh yeah. Bob, you want to take this? or I'll take that. All right. I can get you a logo if you don't have a copy of it. Oh, but yeah, we should totally get the new logo in there. Um, 3102. Okay. Um, oh, they're trying to do a directory search to System32. And they're not And they're getting what the system wow one? No, they're getting nothing. Uh, this particular search, I'm guessing, isn't logging when it fails to find the best of my path. Well, could it? But that's a really weird way to do it. Windows folder system 32 connect. Well, and it's only on 64 system. bit. And it's only so. This probably is a 64 bit like. Did he set 64-bit equals? Yes. So anyway, I think this is a question. We should bump this out to Wix users, and if there actually is a bug, then we can go from there. 
Yeah, see, this is version Windows NT 64 evaluates to true here. My mouse cursor is gone, but you can see it in the log file just below the detect. So they're on a 64-bit system, and using this code up here is by default probably searching 32, which means they're actually looking in WoW. So if that connect thing is not in WoW, they're not going to find it. Yep. So that's probably the answer. But all of that is probably going to be best answered on the mailing list. So let's go kick it out there, and if they actually have a bug, then we can track that. Yeah, he actually called out in that, he or she called out that there is no, uh, there is no reg key. This is, this, this is the best way they could come up with a search for it. And I'm like, that's really sad. Yeah, I'm not sure a directory search. I mean, <sighs> search for a direct, you know, a directory by name without you know, a yeah. file. That seems well, weird. Yeah, I don't know. All right, let's talk about CodePlex a little bit, mostly to just kind of mostly close this conversation um, and resolve it. I'm actually hoping this one ends up recorded so people can go back and get it. So as people may remember, um, CodePlex got flagged for malware. The whole site got flagged for malware by Google and Firefox also picked up on it, um, which means that we're getting lots of people telling us that Wix is being flagged as malware. Uh, turns out it wasn't us. It was some other small part of um, CodePlex, but because it was all underneath the one domain, we all got flagged. Uh, they have fixed that. It took them a lot longer than we would like and furthered our uh, general feeling that CodePlex is um, not the place for the future. Um, we discussed a few options. Uh, one of them, I moved this to the second option because it's not the one I think we can do, is it's expensive to move everything to wixtoolset.org for the hosting costs because we have a lot of downloads. Um, and it pays, a, pays, a, pays costs a lot for when you get lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of downloads, um, which we have a lot of, which is cool, but expensive. Uh, so I think the thing we kind of talked to was you know moving to GitHub releases, which I think makes sense. Um, the question then turned into, what do we move? Do we move all of CodePlex? Do we move some of it? Um, and if we move some of it, what do we move? Uh, you know, do we move 3.10? Do we wait until 3.11? Do we wait till 4.0? Um, and at this point, I'm inclined not to move 3.10 since they have it fixed, uh, because then we have to enter the question of how many things do we move from the past and instead revisit this when we're ready to release 3.11. I would also be fine if we didn't move to GitHub until 4.0 and just said that the three releases are on CodePlex, the four releases are not on CodePlex. Might be a clean break. I think the net net of all of this is that I think I'm suggesting we just hold off on making a decision until we have to do another release and not do a lot of work right now to move stuff when we're not really sure what we want to do. Because one of the things may be that when we release 3.11, we maybe we move 3.10 to GitHub because we have the code for 3.10 on GitHub. Um, and then we just archive all the really old stuff off because they're not downloaded as much. Something like that. Any objections to mostly tabling this until we get to closer to shipping 3.11? Uh, I don't know that we gain anything by not making a decision. Well, I don't want to. I don't know if I want to change decisions. Um, Why would the decision be likely to change? Well, I, I, so one of the problems I'm having is that I I didn't see a way of bringing the old releases from CodePlex to sure, GitHub sure. At, because of the inability to tag the old releases. Right. Um, they seem to be tied together, and because the three history in GitHub doesn't go all the way back, yeah, it wasn't clear. Um, and then I had the idea, well, maybe we just archive those builds, because, you know, honestly, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, there aren't that many, not that many people should be downloading them, and I can look at the numbers and try to figure out how much they actually are changing. Um, we may be able to host those, I guess is what I'm saying, since they're not being downloaded as much. Oh. You're saying archive on wixtoolset.org. Yeah, we just push them into a corner in wixtoolset.org. Yeah. So if someone shows up and says, oh, oh I really need 3.5 for some you know, ancient release that we have to go touch that we never thought we'd have to touch. We're like, yeah, sure, you can get it. It's over here. Um, but we don't advertise it in a major way. 
Right, right. Uh, so I guess I'm where I'm coming from is I'd like to start doing new releases on GitHub. So you're saying 3.11 then? Right. Rather than waiting for 4.0. Okay. Just given, you know, I don't know how I don't know how well the release process works from the back end on GitHub. I know that on CodePlex it kind of sucks. Doing a release on CodePlex is, you know, slow yeah. and somewhat time consuming. Yeah. Um, be a bigger problem if we did it more often, but yeah. Uh yeah, fair. Fair. But I'm thinking if we're if we're going to move at some point, we might as well move the next time. And I agree, you know, I don't see a lot of value in moving old releases over. Um, maybe 3.10.3. Yeah, like, I, I could see us moving 3.10.3, and because nobody should be using the other ones at this point. Um, the other 3.10, that is. Um, and honestly, you shouldn't be using anything 3.6 through 3.10.2 at this point. Right. Uh, which honestly, maybe we just, you know, we truly archive them and make them not easy to get to. So if someone shows up, they have to ask for them specifically so we could have the conversation of, you know, you really don't want to be using this. Um, okay. Um, I'm I'm mostly all right with that. Um, yeah, so do we want to move 3.10.3? Because we know we have a tag that we could move it to. Um when we do the 3.11 release? That, uh, that's what I was thinking. There's no reason to do it sooner, but, you know, starting with 3.11, we'll, we'll put 3.11 up there, and then we can, um, you know, do a release somehow magically in GitHub for 3.10.3 and just kind of start pointing people. Well, so from org, the links go to specific pages on CodePlex. Correct. Right? Correct. So... If we just happen to start pointing people toward GitHub um, from those redirects, that's right. I think that works out okay. Yes, and it's one of the reasons we do that. <laughs> right, because the internet is awesome. Hyperlinks are awesome if you use them properly. Mm -hmm. um, so, all right, uh, okay, we will look at it going that way. Um, So I think what we said is we will maybe we'll do 3.10.3 as a dry run for doing the 3.11 release. <laughs> like to get a feel for it. Um, no, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. You know, using the new GitHub functionality, new to us anyway. Um, and then we'll release 4 when we release 4. Okay. Anything else anybody else wants to talk about? Other things going on out there? You know, we're all kind of getting back into the swing of things this year. Um, anything? Why once, going twice? I know that's really fast. It's not the way you're supposed to do it. Uh, no. All right, have fun with that. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'd like to talk maybe next week about yeah. WIC 311. All right, I'm fine with that. I can add an agenda item, especially if you remind yeah. me. Um, no. <laughs> uh, all right, I think we'll call it a day. Uh, good stuff. We have a plan, I think, for what we'll do with releases. That was awesome. And then we will uh, continue pushing bugs and making them try to go away. So until next week, you guys take it easy. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>